Tom. That rally skill, I tell ya. Some good stuff right there. You got the good stuff right there. Um, I think our Berserker needs a little more time in the field here. Bronze Axe! Boop. Ah, Ignis, again, on the hit where I don't need it. I was watching, uh, Sugar Conroy's, uh, Crystal LP recently. Because I'm on a bit of a Pokemon binge here. And, uh, as you may or may not know, um, but uh, he was saying that uh, it's the Let's Play curse of Pokemon to uh, have it so you always get crits when you don't need them, and that is exactly what I keep getting with this. Using it. Oh man! If that had it all a chance of hitting, that would do quite a bit of damage. I think waste you always hit twice anyway. Yeah, because otherwise one of us would have an issue here with ourselves. Can I reach that? Yes, I can! Yes, you can. Can he build it? I don't know. Formulate a plan. Formulate a plan, you fool! Formulaic! Such a brain. Mathematic. A little more erotic. Uh, oh! That does just enough to kill him! I'm here for you. Yeah! It did so little damage, but guess what? It was enough! Alright, our Bow Knight can come over here, and... Why don't we switch off here and have our good friend... Libra take the reins. It's a Dark Knight! Uh, one damage from Nosfera to... Nosfer Nosferatus. Nosferatus. Oh, that guy's gonna start moving if I get too close. Uh, I think I'll bring our Berserker down this, this way. I shall bring our Falcon Knight up this way. And I shall move. I shall move the hero this way. And switch to Olivia. Who else haven't I moved yet? Ah! To Lieber, I haven't moved Noe. Alright, uh. Do you know what I'm thinking? Cause I don't think you do! I'll use physic on you. Alright. Emony phase! They're going after it. Higher chance to crit- again, higher chance to crit than the hit. Miss, miss, miss! Oh! He crit, but he did no damage. I really, really want to see him, like, crit and then just miss altogether. Cause that'd be amazing, like all that build up with the animation and then like the- Nope. Nah. Haha, -ha, Libra. Oh right! Uh, one thing I learned about, uh, what are they called? War clerics and war monks is that they get an ability where after every time they've been attacked, they will regain- Oh shoot! I just realized what I may or may not have done to Libra. No damage. Shoot fire, yes! I mean, uh, basically, uh, War Clerics get an ability that heals them 30% of their total HP every turn. If that ain't, if that ain't, it's amazing. It's amazing. Alright, uh, and what does this guy do? He has a silver, let's see, strength of 24. He's got a silver bow and a, and a silver sword. Hmm. He barely has any health. Still, I don't think anything can hit her, so I'm gonna try and go in... Headlong on this one. And I'm going to equip her with the Eleven Sword. Just in case. I want Muriel to get something at least. You never stay long after returning to camp. What manner of endeav ev endeavors do you pursue? I retire to my tent and work out new strategies, or take walks when I'm down. Muriel and his relationship improved. Alright, let's end it off here and see what happens. He's going after the wrong guy! All who defy the will of Grima will be purged in the flames of destruction. Is that what this is about? These aren't or or ordinary bandits. Ow. Alright, as long as he can't crit, I'm fine. Plus he has the bow equipped now, so I can just run in and smack him with an axe. Which, I, you know, I will smack him with the axe, but... 
Smack him with an axe. Smack him, smack him with an axe. Boop. At least it's something. Get some damage done here. Let's go ahead and hit him with a steel sword, because he is defenseless right now. Hooray! Boop! Haha, -ha, you made the wrong choice there. Lord Grima, give me retribution. Any of those guys I always give the same voice. You know, I, I think I'm really helping. Donald obtained le weapon level B and got a master seal. Olivia and Donald were the heroes here. Right. It's funny because I had them be uh be the uh the the the, the ones ah. that were an amid but do. Hey there. Um, Olivia, right? Oh, um, Olivia, might I have a moment? Huh? Well, what? With me? Why? Wait, how do you know my name? <laughs> a little bird tweeted it out. So is that a yes? Yes. Um, all right, I guess. <sighs> uh, yes. You see. But what I mean to say is, oh goodness, this is much harder than chatting up other girls I've met. I suppose it would be quickest just to show you this. Um, my ring? Well, I'm wearing it. How did you? <laughs> Indeed. How does an ego have your ring when an ego, indigo, indigo Madoya? How does an ego have your ring when there is only one in all of the world? Unless it is your ring, and I brought it back from the future. Yeah. What? You mean like Lucina? Quite. Exactly. I knew my mother was a dancer. You see. So I've been scouring the land and looking for all the dancers I could find. <laughs> not the oh, not the worst job in the world, mind. <laughs> but now I finally found you, mother, and my dancing is all the better for it. Oh, you dance? Hmm. Uh, sort of, yes. That is to say, I try my best. But some people don't appreciate male dancers. Not that I care. I'm just content with uh, to just shake my hips for the ladies. <laughs> oh, don't listen to them. I think it's wonderful. I'd love to watch you dance sometime. Huh? No, impossible. I'd be far too embarrassed for that. Besides, I'd rather watch you dance. Oh. What? No, I, I couldn't possibly. Come on. I, I'm, I'm shyer than you are, mother. Was that all right? You are not. <sighs> Would you two stop it already? Now I'm the one who's getting embarrassed. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> At last, tea time has arrived. Hey. We're leaving, Inigo. What? What? Right now? B but tea time! More as hell, Inigo. Now now come with us or be left behind. Huh? Fine, fine, I'm coming. I suppose there'll be more buttercups blooming along the road ahead. Oh, Such a ladies' man, this one. Oh! Alright. With that... We are going to... Do some support conversations, and I got quite a few of them. So let's start off with Donald and Olivia. Dumb to do. Swamp Princess Dawn lost her love, and now her luck is busted. Mm -hmm. She looks so sad beside the lake, her wedding ring rusted. Oh. Yaks! You done scared me, ma'am! Sorry. Oh, did I? Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. But that's one of my favorite ballads. I couldn't help but join in. Huh. Eh, you know that song? Oh yes, all dancers dream of the day when they might perform as the White Swan. Uh, it's a sad song, something fierce, and I always get feel low when I sing it. But just the way the poor White Swan Prince is out lamenting her Black Swan Prince, she sets out to journey around the world hoping to meet him one more time. But while she's gone, the evil Swan wreck her home and put her realm and, and put her realm to the torch. That's why she she's crying out uh, out by that pond in the song, most like. Huh? But Donald. It doesn't end there. Don't you know the other verses? Huh? It don't end with that line about brewing up tea? No. No, that's just, that's the end of the middle act. Here's the rest. The moon sees the swan princess sadly sipping her tea and takes pity on her. He calls out to the black swan prince and tells him how, he, how the princess suffers. When the prince hears this, he summons his allies and chases the wicked swans away. Then prince and, prince, then prince and princess are reunited in the smoldering ruins of her palace. There they embrace tenderly while the princess smiles softly up at the moon. Huh? Well, pluck my feathers and feed my gr feed me grits. That ain't a sad song at all. <laughs> no, it's not. I owe you. Gosh, thanks for setting me straight, ma'am. I reckon I, I like it even more now. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, too bad they're already married. I I awe at all of these because they're a lot of these are adorable. Uh, How discomposing. Hey. That looked, pr that looked like a pretty bad spill, Muriel. Are you hurt? Very well. A minor contusion. Benign. 
Everything you were carrying went flying. I see, I see your herbs, some papers, a... What's this? A book? A journal? <sighs> Unhand that, madam! Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't realize it was so important. Mm -hmm. Important? Hmm. Huh? Muriel? Right. I suppose it do, uh, does bear some import, yes. It's a lodestar of sorts, one that, point, th one that points the way to the truth. Whoa. Wow, who wrote it? A famous mage or something? No. Not, a, not famous at all, no. The author was my mother. Yeah. Ah, that explains the rough binding. Er, no offense intended. Still, that's amazing! Was your mother a mage as well, or perhaps a scientist? Hmm. What is the, what is the impe uh, impetus for your inquiry? Huh? Impetus for my... What do you mean? You mean, why do I ask? Or, I don't know, I'm just curious? What, wouldn't most people be? Hmm? An autonomic reaction to conversational, conversational, conversational stimulus. I see. Um, um did I say something strange? Yeah. Curious, perhaps. Meriting closer study, certainly. Spontaneous reactive curiosity. Fascinating. What is the un underlying mechanism? <sighs> I th really think you're reading too much into this. Oh, Muriel. Uh, next we have the, an the um, uh, I almost said Amigo, the Inigo conversations. Um... Inigo? It's the middle of the night, what are you doing? <sighs> oh, mother! Uh, well, I was just off to chat up the ladies. You know me. <laughs> Nonsense. The only things out, out at this hour are the Risen. Now, may I have the truth? Uh, I'm... I just wanted to... Practice your dancing? How did you know? Well... Someone said they spotted you dancing in the woods a few nights back. I thought you might be making a habit of it. They saw that?! But, but I... But I made sure to stay behind this, that big tree the whole time! Ah, uh, that's so embarrassing. I bet they, I bet they were horrified. <laughs> Quite the opposite. They said it was a breathtaking sight. Apparently, they lost track of time just standing there, mesmerized. Come on. That's even more embarrassing! I'm not good with praise, you know? I I'm used to rejection. And wait, lost track of time? How long were they watching? Ugh, I give up. I'll, be never I'll never be able to practice in peace again. This is going to haunt me to the grave. The grave, I tell you! Okay. What if we practice together? Finding, uh, finding secret out-of-the-way spots to practice is something of a talent of mine. Besides, it's too dangerous to let you charge off into the woods alone at night. Huh? Together? What, with you? Wouldn't, wouldn't you be humiliated trying out incomplete dances with, with someone watching? Well... Not if th that someone were you. You're my son, Inigo. So what do you say? It would just be the two of us. Well... Uh, that's really sweet, Mother, but... I'm sorry, Mother. Huh? Hmm? Why not? Still too embarrassing? Hmm. What? No, it's not that. Well, it is, but it's, it's more than that. Um... What do you mean? I'll say for Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. I just can't. I'm going back to my tent. Good night, mother. What? And ego, wait. Aww. And Virian. One thing I learned actually from doing some of these is that the father-child conversations never change. No matter who the father is, the child will always have the same conversation with them. Uh, some small flourishes might appear, like uh, in this one. Uh, father, that girl, that gorgeous girl is just about to say yes to a date. Just about to. Did you really have to drag me off like that? My bottles. Hunting the fair sex is indeed a most noble pursuit, as I know better than, than most. Um, so in this one, a lot of people uh, will just tell him that he's being stupid for, uh, for trying to pick up women. But Virian is actually in support of this. But we have a battle to prepare for, Amigo. Everyone else is ready to, ready, to, uh, ready to march. If you're mad, be mad at yourself for losing track of time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops. Alright, alright. Time, time to try some enemies and find a village last to reward my efforts. You're staring, Father. Is, is there something on my face? Oh, yes. No, I just... I was wondering if you were like this in the future as well. Hmm. Depends on what you mean by like this, I suppose. No, I... For someone who came from an apoc ap apocalyptic hellscape, you're awfully carefree. Seems like you haven't a care in the world past those bed... Uh, whose bed you'll be sharing tonight. Lucina's so driven and serious. It's strange. You don't have it. You don't have any of, of that purpose. What? No purpose. I'll have you know, I, I, I'm extremely driven. Yes, yes. Are you now? <laughs> Indeed, I will, n I will not rest until every woman in the realm swoons at just hearing my name. No. Your purpose in life is to be popular with women? With women? You literally, literally traveled across time to be popular with women? C come on. To be popular with all women. Genius, I know, but father, you're making me blush. <laughs> I am speechless. What? It never bothered you. You uh, never bothered you. Mother would blush in front of you. Oh. 
It's as if you uh, you only inhaled one of one aspect of my ah. Never mind. Suddenly, I feel very tired. I'm going on ahead. <coughs> I care in the world, huh? Not a thought in my head. He means. I'm being such a softie with everyone else. He sure doesn't pull any punches with me. So yeah, there are some little flourishes that each character has to their to their kid, but generally all of the conversations are are the same. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of another one that's like that. Oh, um, who is it? Owain and, um, the second conversation with Owain is based around, uh, you know what? Actually, I could, I could show you this one because I have this one saved and it's one that I do want to show you guys because it's actually, you know what? I'll save it for when, for after I, I talk to, after I have that second conversation, father of the son with Owain. So next time on Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, we're going to be tackling more of these paralogs until we get everybody. Also, I really need Church to marry, um, to marry Libra. So, see you all then.